she's the boss, and I'm shotgun, and nobody messes with her. So it's, it's never been that type of energy. Although, you know, off screen we have a, a, a love child. But then we want to. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not getting into that here. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm Ice T. And I'm Marishka. What are we doing? We are watching episodes from the past 25 years and reacting to them. Wait for our reactions. Alicia Harding is a high profile target who claims to hunt down predators, even though she's never really actually met one. Well, she has helped call her dozens of guys. Well, not like this one. This is a hardcore predator, and they don't get much of a challenge out of stalking. So he's going to show himself soon. Meaning? That if you can't get at Alicia, he might try to take someone else. Well, just make sure it's not you, okay? You want me to cut my visit short? No, no, I'm covered. I'm good. Well, Finn may have you six, but he's definitely not me. No, I'm better. I actually watch her back and not her backside. Oh! So, yeah. <laughs> I think that they early had kind of a little thing going. Even him looking out for her when he thought, that question, you dating such and such, that's like, are you jealous? So that was that allowed to grow throughout. Me, I'm not, with me and Mariska, we don't have that. It's more just like, I have her back. That's, that's my job. She's the boss, and I'm shotgun. And nobody messes with her. So it's, it's never been that type of energy. Although, you know, off screen, we have a, a, a love child. But then we want to. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not getting into that here. <laughs> oh. This is the last oh, episode. Yeah. For, 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 yeah. yeah, this is, we didn't think this was gonna be the last episode for Chris. <laughs> I just, I just bought it off the street. It was easy. <laughs> Oh, that's a beautiful shot. It's drama. Yeah, that's a cool shot yeah. right there. Is this Peter Lita? I say thank God we didn't know because we filmed it just like a regular episode and uh, nobody knew that uh, things would break down over the summer before we started the new season. And uh, yeah, everything would have been very different had we known. We've done so much of, of all of it that we just know how to do all of it now. I mean, obviously it's more complicated when there's several people in the shot and it's obviously much simpler than sh shooting a two-hander. You know, that's the beautiful thing. It's like the 10,000 hour rule. We've done so much of so many different things. We just know how to get it done. If you're shooting a, if you're shooting an action sequence though, you might only shoot three scenes that day. Right. They, they 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 specify more time for those shots than a normal, like she said, walk and talk or whatever interrogation. But uh, it requires a lot of choreography. Mm -hmm. So it requires a lot of rehearsal, and we go through it slowly, and then we shoot it. And if you have stunts. Yeah. But the thing about it is um, you don't get to really do it until you're shooting it, right? Because you go half speed to make sure everything's right. And then once we actually film it, it's actually exciting because it's sort of the first time you're doing it. That beautiful pullback shot that he did was so dramatic that it actually felt a little bit like an ending. Um, I don't know if I'm just projecting on that because I know it was the ending, but that was a, a really beautiful and dramatic um, shot. And pulling away from him, we now endow that moment, right? With what we know happened. For me, I never want to be on the bad end of a cliffhanger. <laughs> you know, the cliffhanger, the season ends with ice getting 
carried off, that's not a good place to be. So, you know, having Chris had just shot somebody, that's not a, where you want to be on a cliffhanger. But um, unfortunately, you know, that was Chris' last show. Would you shut the door, please? Oh, no. God, that's his office. That was his office. Huh. Elliot put his papers in. He's earned it. And then so. You want to talk? No. You want to take a day? I'm fine. Live. I'm sorry. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> I just remember that, you know. That uh, I remember that. You know, it was so hard because that was a uh, uh, that happened. You know, that happened. So it was sad. Just brings me back. You gotta remember, I worked with Chris for 10, 11, 12 years, but at the same time, he wasn't my partner partner. Now, as a friend, not having Chris on the set, of course, that's, that's real dynamics. You know, I was gonna miss Chris, he's fun, he's my, my man. As far as the show goes, now we don't know what's gonna happen. See, people always ask us, they go, what's going on this year, season 25? We don't know. I mean, I, I get the script. I know. Mariska knows, she's a producer now. <laughs> She's a producer, but, but I don't. So when I get the script, you know, I'm, I'm just looking in it, making sure I didn't get shot and bled out. I'm looking for everything in, this, in the script, but I don't know the arc of the season. He just wants to make sure he doesn't. I don't want to make sure I don't die. I got shot in, a, I got shot in the episode, and as soon as I read it, I went like this, Marissa. I was like. <sighs> Oh, ice, I'm ice, a, I'm ice, alive. ice. I'm I'll alive. give you the heads up. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. You know, so, you, you know, we just didn't know how the deck was going to get shuffled at this point, okay? Mm. Mariska's now in the, out there. She has no partner. Who's going to be her partner? This, that, and the other. So we're just kind of like waiting on the next script because I did not know. It was a hard uh, adjustment because, like I said, there was so much unknown. But for me, working with somebody on such an intimate uh, level for 12 years, and we were, we were just so close, you know? And we built this thing. We built this thing together. It was an intense relationship. And to go like that, to have it end with n no warning, it sort of um, deteriorated very quickly. The silver lining in it, and, and there really was one, was the show, it gave us an opportunity that the show turned into something else. And we got to reinvent ourselves. And we'd done something for 12 years beautifully. And then all this newness came and we got Kelly Giddish, which was such a gift. And we got Danny Pino and then off we were. The show was different. So for me personally, it was like I got to stay in the same place and I was on a new show. So it was very exciting. And I would say it took a couple years for the writers, you know, to find the new voice and the actors to find the new voice and for the show to find its new voice. And then it did. It all sort of came together in such a beautiful way and in such an exciting way. I look back and think everything that we were scared of, um, Worked out. And when I leave, just and turn then the some. Off. What'd you say? When I leave, just turn the TV off. It's a wrap. No, I'm not ever leaving. I'm staying. I'm with her for the rest of the way out. People always ask, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm I'm here with Mariska. You know, that's it. When she's out of here, I will go on tour and sing Body Count." <laughs> and when I leave, I'll be she'll his be, backup. Yes, yeah, she'll be out there. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, everybody, listen up, please. I'm leaving. What? Now? Hey, is this part of the deal? Or was this their pound of flesh? Because if it is... No, 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 no. This is my call. Yeah. Where are you going to go, Captain? Around the world, actually. Eileen has two tickets for I a six-month cruise. Damn. And I have enough accrued leave to take me through my mandatory retirement date. If I stay, I make less than if I leave. I'm proud of my time here. Mm. And I'm honored and grateful to have worked with the finest unit of detectives I've mm. ever known. What can I say? For a guy who never should have been an SVU detective, you're okay. Right back at you, Captain. Nobody could ever take your place. Well, for the meantime, Detective Benson will. She's ready. I start clapping for a tree. So beautiful. That was a beautiful scene. Mm. I was like, don't make Danny Pino cheek. <laughs> I gave my whole life to NYPD. And I forgot to live my own. Mm. Me and Eileen. Stop talking about it's Eileen. Eileen. <laughs> Who shot at happiness? That's a bad name. Do we ever meet Eileen? But people used to what? say this no. all the time. That's why it's funny. But take care of yourself. You deserve it. Mm. It's so deep. Eileen's not as bad as my uncle Ziggy. Mm. I can't oh, handle this. Olivia, do something with the place, will you? I gotta start watching this show. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys pulled all the heavy melodramatic oh, scenes. Wow, that's my office. I don't even remember it before it was mine. I, you know, I've inhabited it so fully and then it's beautiful to hear him say and I forgot that line do something with the place because I did and I changed it and and made it mine I love I love the, the line from the other scene where Bells just said nice working with you anytime you get called into the chief's office oh. it's ne it's never usually good you know so it's like it's like Jinkowski. <laughs> When you get called into, into Captain Benson's office, it's not as much, his office was scarier to walk into than hers. No. When, yeah. you, when, when he needed you, it was nice working with you. Yeah, <laughs> very different vibe. Yeah. I think we had very different styles. I think I lead like a woman. I think I lead with love and with a maternal nature. I'm tough, but fair and um, protective. Damn Floyd. Yeah. Such a joy. He's so funny. He's so funny. So funny. You have no idea. So inappropriate. Such a brilliant actor. And then it could just turn. <laughs> People always ask me, like, all of our characters. I'm like, Chris is pretty much like Chris. I'm pretty much like me. Dan is the exact opposite of what you see him yes, play as the chief. Exact he's opposite. He's bananas. Yes. He's funny. And my friends would always like, that chief, he's always mean. I'm like, no, nope. this dude is crazy. He's crazy and funny and Best actor. we would get in trouble because he would make us laugh so much. And he was so brilliant and so, as you can see, so full of heart. Hey, sweet boy, mommy's home. Hold on. Thanks, John. You finally got Ben out to take a plea. Worth the wait, brother killing brother, and then see that coming. Mm. Dodds did. Dodds, the new new guy. Oh, no, Dodds. Finn told me you got a good squad working for you. Finn said what? I was worried when I left that I'd fall apart without the job or the place would fall apart without me. Oh, well, I was too. Oh, yeah, but it's been good. Turns out there's more to life than SVU. Oh, ain't that the truth? I'm glad we both found that out. Mm. Had a great time with him today. Mm -hmm. Going to a major life lesson. Always question authority. Oh, what a surprise. How was that? Noah, show mommy say why. <laughs> <laughs> you can thank me when he's a fully functioning anti-dogmatic atheist. I'll do that. God, I miss him. I should get going. Okay. You know, I'm a gangster rapper. I come on there, I meet this guy. He's telling me crazy stories about him, 
he was just mad cool, you know? He just talked to me in my lingo, had a history, like telling me stories about working with Jack Benny and, you know, Miles Davis, and the dude was just deep. When you come on a show like this, you need somebody to give you the ropes, like what it is. And by him doing Homicide for all those years, he knew the ropes. I had never done episodic drama like this, especially not for this amount of years. So I've taken over Belzer's place as when the new people come in, I kind of give them the ropes, like Octavio or Kevin. I kind of say, this is what this is. It's not what you might expect, but this is how it's done. But I love Belzer, and when he passed, it hurt me dearly. Uh, I can't really think of anybody I've had in my life that was older than me that was able to give me wisdom mm. like him. Such an original. I've never met anyone like him. And um, again, so funny, so dark, so irreverent, and yet so sensitive and soulful and um, had such a big heart under the exterior. Just a beautiful man, you know. These Definitely are authentic. Very authentic. It wasn't, there was no, Belzer was n never anybody but him, right? Ever. <laughs> no, he didn't care. If you didn't like him, you didn't like him. Whatever, you know, he just was a cold dude. I just felt that so much time had passed that I, I couldn't reach out to you both. I get it. Look, let me bring you up to speed. Liv moved on. It took her a minute. She moved on. She has a son now. She's had a couple of relationships. One was pretty solid. Son. Good for her. Jealous. <laughs> Who's the guy? <laughs> Always is the guy. He's jealous, obviously. If I say to if I say to another guy, yo, she's moved on, she had a couple of things, blah, blah, blah. that's it. it wow. Who's the guy? That's obvious with Chris. Chris Ice is just keeping it real. When I watch it, I feel Chris concerned. Why are you worried about who's the guy? You know, so my character goes, you have to ask her. Like now you're asking extra questions. I'm giving you the overall view. You want the deep dirt. Talk to her. had time to develop this relationship over the years. So it's true, it's organic, it's easy, and it's effortless. I mean, in my life, I'm the boss most of the stuff, you know? I have no problem riding shotgun. There's a, there's a power in being second, but being the shotgun, being the force. In reality, this is her television show. So I'm coming on, I'm not coming on like, hey, I'm the star, I should be, no. It's her show. And, and on the show, I play her as the boss. So she's the boss, and I, I don't mind that because she needs somebody to hold her down. And sometimes that person, this, the second person is real. We got Dick Wolf, we got Peter Jankowski. Who we scared of? Peter Jankowski. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the principal and the vice principal. Yeah. And, and you know, and, and knowing how to play that position correctly, you know, makes it cool. But in real life, we, you know, I always tell Mariska, I say, I have, um, three women in my life, well four. I have my, my daughter, my wife, and my youngest daughter, and I have Mariska. But I made more money with Mariska. So, <laughs> so we have to understand the position here. So there's no, <laughs> there, there, there's no competition. Last thing I like to say is when you watch the show, our show is on right now. All of us are important. Right now, that show, Kelly might be on the screen. Right? She kept us on the air. Danny Pino might be on the screen. He kept us on the air. It might be a scene with Peter Scanavino. It might be Chris. It might be Mariska. It might be my scene. We're all keeping each other on the air. Yeah. And if we understand that as a team, we move forward. If one of us thinks, oh, this show is about me and that's it, it, it doesn't work like that. This is a team. She's the boss, she's the quarterback right now, and a producer, and writing it. So a lot of times, even when we get into it, and Rich is like, no, it's not working, I'm like, thank God somebody is running this. We gotta, we gotta, we got, she, and she's like a player, coach, 
producer owner. It's heavy. All I gotta do is say my lines. <laughs> she can do all that extra <laughs> shit. I just show up and say my mother lines. <laughs> and he does it well. <laughs> And this will this show with all these clips will. I know take this has four, been a beautiful. Be a four hour. I have special. to say this is going to be a four hour special, but it's such a <laughs> gift to us. I have to say, to go down memory lane. Yeah. And it's also what I love about it that's so beautiful is that you really see these moments that have stitched together the shows and how they've they play out now so beautifully. Well, it's, they cut out the crimes. They they actually did a sh this is a show about us. Yeah versus the crimes. But when you see the history and you see where we've come, that's the gift in it. It's beautiful. This was a gift to watch these that's fun. scenes.